I'm inside Walmart on the hunt for a new bike. So new, it's from a new brand, Ozark Trail. Well, the brand itself isn't new. For years, I've used Ozark Trail products from the camping and hiking section at Walmart. I'm not 100% sure of ownership or how any of that works, but I will say that as far as the Ozark Trail brand, the only place I've ever seen it sold is at Walmart. Camping, hiking, and now biking, it's a logical progression, and today I'm going to get my first look and I'm going to share all the details with you. I also want to mention that I might review a lot of bikes from Walmart, it's kind of my thing, but I don't have any real contacts at Walmart. As a matter of fact, I was shocked that I wasn't contacted about this. The only way I found out about it was when viewers started asking me. You asked, so here we go. The Ozark Trail Vibe, $298. Available in-store and via the Walmart website. First impressions. I see a couple of Kev Central requested features right out of the gate. It also has a nice profile and a good entry-level mountain bike style to it. Component by component, starting up top at the handlebars, which are roughly 720 millimeters wide and a good 31.8 mountain bike diameter. The grips slip on rubber. They're grippy, but a bit firm. Bar complements, meaning all the stuff bolted to the bars that help you control the bike and the bike's function. On the right, the only shifter. It's a Kazuno branded 8-speed trigger shifter with a view window and a very familiar easy fire design. In the mountain bike world, we often use trigger shifter as a blanket term, but this is a true trigger shifter, getting its name from the way the index finger shifts like a trigger. The choice of this style shifter is good because they're reliable, but it does create a mismatch up top because the brake lever is integrated into the shifter. There's no shifter on the other side, so in its place there's a peak branded plastic brake lever. Now let's look at the stem. This is a two bolter. I like to see a four bolt stem cap on a mountain bike, but that's not what stands out to me here. This stem is a tip off to something that I'll cover in a minute. For now, just know that the important thing is that up top, the stem is part of a threadless headset. A headset running through a legit tapered head tube. Bikes from Walmart are tapered. It's becoming somewhat commonplace. That's kind of funny considering that some bike shop brands they haven't stepped up their entry level offerings with the taper. So it's nice to see one on this first Ozark Trail model, though I do see a slight assembly hiccup with this one particular off the shelf bike. That's a dust seal, nothing critical, but it is important to look over the bike before taking it home. The fork, a straight steerer model from the factory, more good at this price, right off my Kev Central request list for an entry level bike, meaning an SR Suntour fork. This one features dual preload adjusters and 100 millimeter of travel on those polished stanchions, 30 millimeter stanchions referenced in the model number. This is an XCM30. At the dropouts, the front wheel, well, both wheels are bolt on. Front sticker, a hint at the wheel size, totally given away by the large print on the wheel card. The wheels themselves feature quote high profile alloy rims with a very familiar V on the graphic. I'll be coming back to that as well. Wrapped around the rims is the 27.5 by 2.30 knobby tires. I like the 2.30 width, a nice choice here. Of course, I'm a fan of 27.5. You don't have to watch many of my videos to figure out that's my favorite wheel size. Let's look at the drivetrain. It kicks off with plastic pedals mounted to 170 millimeter HDL brand alloy crank arms. The chain ring, this is a one by, so there's only one chain ring. This one's special because I don't think I've seen this on a modern mountain bike. It's a 40 tooth, that's large. For a derailleur, this is shifted up front with that Kazuno shifter, but the derailleur is a micro shift. A micro shift 26, acceptable to me at this price. The mount, eh, it's part of the frame. An integrated hanger on an aluminum frame. There are no provided specifics on the grade of the aluminum, but this is unique for one reason. The Ozark Trail comes in sized frames. Yeah, sized frames under $300. So if you're shopping for a vibe, be sure to pay attention to the frame markings and the hang tags because there are three available sizes. There's a small, a medium, and a large, all three sizes available via the Walmart website. In store, at least the one that I found these bikes at, there were only two sizes, medium and large available. And I hunted down a measuring tape from the tools section, found out that the medium is a 19 inch frame. The large, a 21 inch frame that leads me to speculate that the small will be a 17. These sized aluminum frames, I love saying that, have a black finish with orange graphics, very subtle, not over the top. Somewhat tapered yet oblong tubes up front with the more traditional classic mountain bike rear triangle design at the back. 
There's another surprise with the frame on top of the sized frames. This also has internal cable routing. All this under $300. And check this out, I didn't mention it when I talked about the wheels, but these rims, they're drilled for Presta valves. Nice. There's so much for me to point out here, I'm getting a bit sidetracked, but let me go back to the rear of this drivetrain where it left off at the gearing. That's an 8-speed freewheel. Kazuno branded, just like the shifter. It's a mega range with a large low gear. I've already mentioned it, but here you can see the rear wheel is also a bolt-on. Braking, the bike is equipped with disc brakes. The rotor up front, 160 millimeter, paired with a U-Link branded caliper. Sounds like a wireless router. They must be serious about it because the U-Link is registered. They're also orange to match the bike's graphics trim. 160 millimeter rotor is up front, 140 at the rear. These are a big deal, at least to Walmart, because of the eight key features listed on the site for this bike, two of them were the brakes. Front and rear mechanical disc and dual disc brakes. Hey, brakes are important, and just a few years ago we rarely saw dual disc brakes on bikes from Walmart. Now we're living the dream and complaining if they're not hydraulics. Bolt on wheels, but the seat post clamp, that's quick release. The seat post itself, it's still. I do like that Walmart is doing well with their listings, here giving a quick reference as to what's aluminum and what's steel. That steel post is marked 27.2 by, I guess, an open-ended question. It's short. The seat, black vinyl with black stitching. Here's a look into the seat tube. For those that will ask, I don't see any provisioning for an internal dropper cable. That's the components rundown for the Ozark Trail Vibe 27.5 sized frames, under $300. I also want to mention a couple of other things. Walmart has this on their side. It shows inseam measurements to help someone get the correct size frame for their height and inseam. Also, I see wheel sizing here. It mentions 27 or 29. I don't know, maybe is this a sign of things to come with the Ozark Trail brand? I guess we'll see. Walmart also gets a thumbs up for their information on the website. Most people only look at pictures, so it's nice to see that they give a good rundown of some of the key items here. The 42 chain ring, the trigger shifters, the fact that it's 8 speeds, dual disc brakes, even the tire size and fork travel. This is simple, but we're often left guessing about fork travel. We get it here. And don't forget, that's an SR Suntour fork, making up some of the high points. Along with, of course, the tapered head tube, the internal cable routing, the Presta valves on the wheels. In many aspects, there's more here than what I expected at the current $298 pricing. That's not to say there aren't a few budgetary choices, because there are, like the bolt-on wheels, especially obvious up front, their selection for bottom bracket type, and of course the integrated hanger on the aluminum frame. I mentioned those three things specifically because while this model has the awesomeness of sized frames at a very affordable price, there is competition, I mean literally right beside this bike. At the same price, we have one with a quick release front wheel and a replaceable derailleur hanger. But you know, that's the beauty of shopping today versus years ago. There are plenty of options on the Walmart rack today that offer a variety of features at a variety of prices any of which I would feel confident about casually riding on green trails out of the box. And that's important because many people want to get into mountain biking, but they want to test the waters first without getting too financially involved. And now there are even more options. Thanks to the Ozark Trail, the options include sized frames for under $300, 298 at the point I made this video, which is the launch price. We're not done just yet because there is one other detail, something I spotted instantly the second I walked up to the bike. I looked at the stem, I saw the design, and I see that V logo and I see it again on the wheels. I know this stem design and I'm pretty sure that logo is a Vitesse logo or at least a variation of it. And there's one particular manufacturer that uses those parts. And even without those, I look at the bike and I think Kent bikes. Looking down at the bike sticker, there we go. Right below the model information, Kent International. If you aren't familiar with Walmart's bike lineup, you might not know that Kent bikes have historically been prominently featured in Walmart's bike lineup, especially rack bikes. Even today with bikes like the Truvel, that's a Kent bike. And even panning around here, I see one or two other Kent bikes on the rack today. So for me, this is somewhat familiar, but still mixed in with all the wonderful options. A new brand, new features, sized frames for under 
That's my first look at the new Ozark Trail Vibe 27.5 mountain bike. Now I want to know what do you think? Sized frames under $300, is that a big deal to you? Comment below, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Thanks for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.